Hello guys, in this video I will show you something that I just found out and uh, yes, seemed important enough to share with you. Uh, on some random uh, PCs that I built uh, I got uh, really really long uh, Windows boot times on Windows 7, 8 or 10 for no apparent reasons. They were decent PCs with decent hard drives but they just took a lot to boot. So, yeah, first time I thought the hard drives might be a little bit older or something slower. But, uh, yeah, it seems it's a Windows problem after all. So I'm going to try and do this video in one go. Let's see how it works. I've installed a program called Boot Racer, so it will show us the boot time. And let me just uh, show you where the problem actually is. In one moment we will get to the black screen. If this stays way too long, most likely this fix will help you. Not sure, not surely, because there might be another problem, but you can see, yeah, didn't get to do it. If you would move the mouse, the uh, pointer would actually appear on uh, the black screen. So uh, this fix should help you, but it's not completely uh, great for everybody. But uh, in my experience, 99% uh, sure that uh, this is to blame. So yeah, you can clearly see it's uh, starting up really, really slow. This would be quite annoying. It's not even uh, completely started yet. So yeah, this is a pretty serious bug if it happens uh, in three Windows versions. Okay. So we got about one minute. Pretty bad for a modern PC in my opinion. Even for one with a hard drive. But Windows 10 should boot up uh, way faster than this. So you can see my boot time is quite stable. Bad but stable. <laughs> so you must go to... Sorry about my Windows, it's in Romanian. I will try to translate. You must go to Control Panel, uh, Power Options, you find the battery. Then uh, it should be choose what power buttons do so, or something like that. Click on it. You should get this screen and click uh, the link next to the shield. It will allow you to, to alter this. You need to deactivate uh, fast startup. Then you basically save changes, close this window and shut down the PC. Hopefully I'm filming everything with my left hand, we will see. Basically what I think it's happening, uh, the files that should allow Windows, let's restart, uh, actually not restart, start from scratch the computer, uh, basically the files that should allow Windows to start faster get corrupted in some weird way and do not uh, repair themselves uh, without intervention. So actually Windows is unable to do the fast uh, startup, although it is uh, checked in the settings. So this time the computer should start about the same as it did last time, although this time that the setting is uh, unchecked. So uh, yeah, before it was checked and it was still starting up slow, weird, no? And when I'm thinking that uh, at uh, some point I actually bought an SSD because uh, of this problem. Although SSDs are awesome and I highly recommend you get them. 
but you can still get uh, pretty good boot times even without them. So you can see we are almost like uh, like before. Let's just see the value. Actually, we, if you <laughs> you see that we are 15 seconds or something like that faster than before with that unchecked. Personal record, yay! So now you we go to the same place, control panel. power options, change what uh, power button does, click on that and activate first uh, startup, save changes, close everything and shut down. I'm not 99% sure that it will do uh, a lot better from the first shutdown and power on, but at least in the second one it should be way better. Okay, now it's shut down. First I was blaming Windows updates, antivirus, hard drives. Yeah, you can clearly see it barely stood at that uh, that uh, screen, so it jumped way way faster into Windows. I'm really curious about this. Like I, w I was saying, I suspected everything apart from Windows, and actually the problem was Windows. So yeah. What can you do about it? Nothing, just hopefully this fix will actually work for you too. You can clearly see way, way, way faster. Before we first deactivated, we were at uh, 1 minute. With it deactivated, we were at 35 seconds. And with it activated again, we are at 20 seconds. This basically means, like I said, uh, those files probably got corrupted somehow and uh, we forced Windows to d delete them and create new ones. So yeah, from what I found online it seems after doing this uh, once you pretty much uh, are set. Don't, you don't have to do it again because Windows will work uh, correctly now and start fast. So yeah. Thanks guys for watching. I hope this is uh, good information for you and it uh, works in your case. If it, this doesn't work then probably there is another problem. And uh, yeah, search a little bit more for, for an answer. And uh, yeah, ask what you need in the comments. Uh, subscribe, like, watch my other videos if you find them uh, useful. And... Uh, See you next time. Bye.